All right, everybody, Samori Benjamin here with Washington Nationals rookie Dylan Cruz. Dylan, thank you for joining me before this game. Nice meeting you. Thank you. You were the number two pick overall last year, so you're up here now, so congratulations to you. What's it been like just so far early, your first big league at bats and appearances? Yeah, it's been great so far. You know, um, a lot of transitioning and um, moving around this year, but other than that, it's been, been fun. I've enjoyed every second of it. Now you're from Florida. Yeah. Uh, growing up in Florida, did you play other sports? Yeah, I played football, uh, basketball when I was a kid. Uh, but I was pretty serious in football. And, you know, I kind of stopped right before high school uh, just because I didn't want to get hurt for baseball. But, uh, you know, I, I saw a better future in baseball and had to put the hang the cleats up for football. Yeah, no doubt. And I know Florida, a big football state. Were you, would you consider yourself growing up a fan of any team, baseball, football, basketball? For me, I wasn't like... A, a team guy like I, like for sports like, I didn't I have a favorite team I was like I was a uh, players guy you know so like growing up I was a Jeter fan Trout fan um, football you know Thurman Thomas or I'm good friends with Thurman Thomas uh, his son really yeah so nice, nice. Um, what I mean so that guy and uh, uh, Christian McCaffrey you know mm -hmm. a couple a couple Really, really good guys. Awesome. Now I know Florida, a lot of competition in baseball. There's a lot of you from Florida in the big leagues and also from Georgia. So that area, lots of competition. So what was it like just growing up, uh, junior high, high school, you know, playing baseball in Florida? Yeah, it's, it's competitive for sure. You know, we have uh, a lot of talent there in Central Florida. And, you know, our district is, is really tough. We, uh, I mean, you go down the list of the history that I've Play, like the guys that I played there in high school, we had Riley Green over in Haggerty, we had Zach Veen over in uh, uh, Spruce Creek. Uh, I mean, we had a bunch of different guys. You know, it's just a lot of great talent in that in that area. Um, so yeah, it definitely helped me out in the future. I know you were able to play USA Baseball 14 and under first, and then 18 and under. But first 14 and under, how do you remember? Yes, at the time getting put on that team and what it felt like for you as a young ball player? Yeah, it was um, it was awesome. I mean, going all over the place, um, carrying North Carolina and going overseas to Amsterdam, Panama, Colombia. Like, I mean, you can't you can't beat it going over there and, and playing for your country and, um, you know, putting that gold around your neck um, and hearing your hearing your national anthem being played um, in the finals. It's, it's an it's unbelievable feeling. And on your 18 and under team, you all won the gold, right? Yes. Well, that was 2017, 2018? 2018, 2018, I believe, 2018. Yeah. So, what was that experience like to be able to win the gold like that? Oh, it was great. Um, we had a lot of talent on that team. You know, Bobby Witt, uh, Corbin Carroll, Jack Leiter, Pete Crow Armstrong, Riley Green again. You know, so, I mean, we had lots of guys who are in the bigs now. So, um, looking back, it was one of, the, one of the best teams that I played on. And going to LSU, what made you decide to go to LSU and uh, not try and be in the draft? Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, in high school I pulled myself out, wanted to go to LSU. Um, I just wanted to be prepared for the next level, and I felt like going to LSU really helped me as far as, you know, playing in front of big crowds and having all the resources there to, to play at the next level. What was it like just playing in the SEC against all those other really talented teams? Oh, it was great. It was great. It was competitive for sure. And, you know, like, like I said, you want to play in front of 30, 40,000 people every night. You gotta, you gotta prepare for it, and you know we played in front of, you know, 10, 15,000 people, and then go to Omaha. We played in front of 25,000 people, so it definitely prepared me. A lot of talent at LSU on baseball, basketball, football, all over the place. I'm thinking of all the big names. We have a guy right here in New York with the Giants, Malik Neighbors, who yeah. from LSU, uh, Angel Reese. Every time you turn on TV, you see her with WNBA, and uh, of course your guy Paul Skeens. Yeah. Uh, so much talent coming out of there. What was it like to guess? Did you get a chance to be around any of those other people who were playing other sports? Uh, yeah, definitely. You know, obviously we went to the same school. You know, we had different schedules here and there, but we definitely supported each other throughout the whole way. Uh, you know, from the, from 2019 to about 2023, 24. I mean, we had a great run. We had probably four or five national championships across all the sports. So um, it was very awesome to see. And like I said, we supported each other just throughout the whole way. Yeah, I can't forget Jaden Daniels, number two overall pick. Just beat the Giants here last week. Okay, so what was it like just when you made your major league debut not too long ago? I know you 
played against the Yankees. I know you homered off of Garrett Cole. That was big. So how was that for you? It was great. It was great. You know, um, you know, Yankees was, I mean, I was, like I said, I was a Jeter fan, so followed the Yankees a lot when I was a kid and to kind of start my career there or against them and have my debut against them, it was, it was pretty awesome. And, um, you know, seeing Judge and Soto on the other side, it's, it was a pretty memorable moment for me. What does it mean for you to be named Golden Spikes Award winner and to win that championship last year? Oh, it was awesome. It was awesome. You know, you uh, going to college, you have goals in mind that you want to accomplish, and um, you know, I felt like I I marked every box that I you know had goals for. So um, you know, winning the Golden Spikes and then going and winning the national championship to cap off you know our careers, it was, uh, it, was a, it was pretty awesome. And for those who don't know, Golden Spikes is the best player in collegiate baseball. You won in 2023. Okay, last one for you. Who's the most talented player that? you've ever played with most talented player i mean geez we've played i've played with so many different people you know you know you go like i said that 20 that, that 2018 team the usa team you could all those guys were unbelievable you had skeins and and uh last year and at lsu so i mean there's so many different names i can't name uh one person but i play with so many different guys that have uh, unbelievable talents all right folks Washington Nationals rookie Dylan Cruz, number two overall pick a year ago. Dylan, man, great meeting you, and uh, I'll have fun watching you during your Major League career. Thank, Thank you, man. Appreciate it. All right, folks, we're back.